Hello everyone, Weather Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Friday evening, March 29, 2024. Now before we jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your year recently. Also feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can see that we have two ridges of high pressure, one right here across the southern United States and another right here across the northeastern sections of the North Atlantic that are responsible for sending easterly trade winds across the region, across the main development region and across the western Caribbean including the Gulf of Mexico. We can also see a trough of low pressure stretching all the way from the eastern Caribbean all the way up into the sections right there of the northern Atlantic to the west of the high pressure dome and we can see this blue spike line right here associated with that cold front that will be influencing weather conditions across Jamaica this weekend and we can see it all even better on the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down the clouds associated with that cold front stretching all the way from the east of Bermuda right here all the way down into portions of eastern Cuba, the Turks and Caicos, sections of Hispaniola starting to get in on the action right now and soon to be Jamaica tonight into tomorrow and Sunday. We can also see the clouds associated with the trough affecting sections of the eastern Caribbean and it's all leading up into this area of low pressure right there across the waters of the North Atlantic. We'll be talking more about the Caribbean's weather later on. Let us focus our attention on this post that was made on our Twitter page. Keep in mind that these posts aren't only made on our Twitter page, but our Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook page. At Well, on our Instagram page, at weather.jamaica, on our TikTok page, at weatherjamaica, and on our Facebook page, at weatherjamaica876. So if you don't see us posting here on our YouTube platform, we're definitely posting something on one of those social media platforms. And this post highlighted the fact that the cold front will be affecting sections of Jamaica starting on Friday night into Sunday with all of that northeast trade wind. And it would bring more so in the way of a rainfall to especially northeastern parishes in Jamaica as opposed to the cooler than average temperatures that we're used to. Temperatures, as stated, will be average for the most part and slightly below average in some spots. So it's nothing drastic, no drastic cooler than normal temperatures are expected. And just for a reference, we know northern parishes, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Chilani, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland. Eastern parishes, you know, we're talking about Portland, St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew. And if we're talking about northeastern parishes, more than likely, especially Portland, maybe incorporating section of St. Mary and St. Anne, in that for jamaica's weather today we saw that some of the rainfall couldn't wait for friday night we actually had some morning rainfall coming in from the north across sections of especially hanover st james trelawney this morning and then during the afternoon we saw some of these clouds pushing into some southern parishes more so in the way of partly cloudy skies maybe some isolated showers here or there across sections of Northern Clarendon, Manchester, or St. Elizabeth. If we take a look at the latest infrared satellite images, we can see some high level clouds being streaked off towards the north and the east, associated with wind shear blowing some high cold cloud tops, maybe off of Central America. This relates to the latest Cuban Doppler radar images, nothing to see as of right now. As far as the temperatures right now, we can tell we have 28 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. And by about 3 a.m. on Saturday, temperatures should dip down to about 24 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. As far as the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is showing 18 days on Saturday, which is actually 1 p.m. on Saturday. And we do see Jamaica embedded in some grays and some slight blue colors that, as we can see on the key on the right, represents average temperatures in the grays and slightly below average temperatures in the blue so maybe 0 to 0 0.5 or 1 degree celsius below no 
normal temperatures so just some slightly cooler than average temperatures nothing too drastic but we're indeed grateful that saturday is not gonna be that crazy kind of warmth like what we've been experiencing for the past week and as you know the average temperatures for the month of march are about the same as 87.3 degrees fahrenheit and we take a look at the thermometer 87.3 degrees fahrenheit is about the same as 30 degrees celsius so we should be receiving anywhere from 29 to 30 degrees celsius for jamaica's temperature on saturday as it relates to the dry air map we can see that we still have a lot of dry air plaguing the entire atlantic basin as we can see the dry air is represented by the yellows oranges and reds by the key on the bottom but look at that air where jamaica is located not so much in the way of dry air all courtesy of the cold front and we're indeed grateful for that however as related to the Sahara and dust forecast for 2 p.m on saturday we see that majority of the caribbean and the gulf of mexico should be in the clear as all the browns that represent the Sahara and dust should be across sections of africa and the southern and eastern main development region not to mention sections of northeastern south america as relates to the wave forecast for tomorrow we see that both the euro and the gfs models are showing more so in the way of blues surrounding the island as we can see by the key on the bottom right these blues are representative of anywhere from 1 to 1.5 meter wave heights and that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the northeast for the most part and we see the greens that we can see by the key on the bottom right that represent anywhere from 15 to 20 knots maybe heading up into some yellows in there maybe gusting to 25 knots in some spots and we also see the blues that represent little to no wind and we know what that means we might have some of that air piling up across sections of some southern parishes during the afternoon maybe bringing forth some afternoon rainfall when those cumulus clouds become maybe some possible cumulus nimbus clouds we shall see exactly what unfolds either way whatever is coming off of the sea through the windward passage between cuba and haiti will be bringing some rainfall to sections of northern parishes especially portland and st mary and then during the afternoon we will have that build up of clouds across sections of some southern parishes as usual and why might you ask do we get so much rainfall across northern parishes from this cold front it's actually rain relief rainfall this is basically when we have all of these winds coming in from the northeast and it's definitely some moist air and then all of that air rises over the hill so let us say this side with all of the trees is the northern portion of the island maybe these mountains right here could pass as the blue mountains then on the right hand side of the mountain is the southern portion of the island so we're definitely gonna be having those winds coming in from the northeast then the air rises the temperatures drop and then all of that moist air condenses to produce clouds and rainfall across northern portions of the island and then as usual especially during the morning hours we'll have that rain shadow across the southern portions of the island bringing forth more dry weather across southern jamaica but in tomorrow's case we might have some of these clouds building across sections of some southern parishes to bring some amount of rainfall across those spots and just for reference we know our southern parishes we're talking about Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kingston, St. Andrew, and St. Thomas. And to relate to the rainfall forecast now, we can see that this map from the Euro and this map from the GFS is showing 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. This is actually 9 p.m. Jamaica time, and we see the blues starting to affect sections of some northern parishes, the blues that represent rainfall. So sections of St. Mary, maybe Portland, might get in on the action skipping ahead to about 12 a.m eastern standard time which is still 11 p.m jamaica time we see more of those blues coming on shore so we're definitely having a high certainty that it's going to be raining across sections of some northern parishes tonight skipping ahead to about 4 a.m eastern standard time which is actually 3 a.m jamaica time 
we see more of those blues affecting sections of northeastern Jamaica, especially Portland, maybe spilling into sections of St. Thomas, sections of Ceylon, St. Anne, St. Mary getting in on the action as well, maybe even spilling into sections of Kingston and St. Andrew too. Then by 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 7 a.m. Jamaica time, we're still seeing much of the same. Some blues that represent rainfall across northeastern Jamaica, especially. Then by 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is actually 2 p.m. Jamaica time, we start to see some of these blues that represent rainfall across sections of some southern and western parishes in Jamaica. So sections of Westmoreland, St. Elizabeth, Manchester might get in on the action, sections of Clarendon. But we also see that we still have that rainfall across sections of St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland getting in on the action as well. Taking a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast for the next 24 hours, keep in mind that both of these maps from the Euro and the GFS are showing all the rainfall that's expected from now on until 10 p.m. on Saturday. And we see the consensus, we see that both maps are showing that the location for the most rainfall within the next 24 hours will be across section of northeastern Jamaica where both the Euro and the GFS are in consensus that we're going to be picking up to 0.33 of an inch of rainfall we might even get a bit more than that we know these rainfall totals can be they're just showing some estimates but we know the rain gauges might pick up even more rainfall than what is predicted or even less Either way, we're indeed grateful. We're in the month of March. We're in our dry season still. We usually receive up to 87.15 millimeters of rainfall during this month. So any rainfall that we get is much welcomed. All right, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let us focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So as stated, we're still watching that cold front that's about to bring some amount of clouds and rainfall to sections of northern dominican republic later on tonight and tomorrow already bringing rainfall to sections of the turks and caicos eastern cuba the cayman Islands, sections of central america honduras nicaragua northern haiti getting in on the action clouds associated with the trough trailing into the low pressure area across the eastern caribbean and if we take a look at the doppler radar images of the northeastern caribbean we'll see all that rainfall even better so we see that rainfall stretching all the way from St. John's, Antigua, all the way up into that low pressure. We can also see some grids represent rainfall across the US and British Virgin Islands as well. If we take a look at the Barbados radar, we can see that there's definitely some rainfall around the island, especially to the west and north of there, affecting the waters to the east of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, to the east of St. Lucia especially sections of tobago getting in on the action as well and if we take a look at the wider view of doppler radar images you can see some rainfall affecting sections of french guyana right now as well as the temperature forecast for tomorrow this map from the gfs is showing 18 zero on saturday which is actually 1 pm on saturday and we see that for the most part the caribbean should be experiencing average to slightly above normal temperatures it's the western Caribbean that's going to be experiencing those below normal temperatures with those blues and greens especially the Bahamas right there way below average temperatures are expected in those spots well above normal temperatures should be plaguing sections of Central America and Northern South America as relates to the Saharan dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Saturday majority of the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico should be in the clear as all the browns that represent the Saharan dust should be across the southern main development region and the eastern main development region as well as well as the wave forecast for tomorrow both the euro and the gfs are forecasting anywhere from 0.5 meter to 1.5 meter wave heights across the caribbean because the winds are going to be coming in from the east or northeast for the most part averaging anywhere from 5 to 10 to even 15 or 20 maybe gusting to 25 knots in some spot as to as the rainfall forecast now, we can see that both the Euro and the GFS models are showing rainfall for sections of Honduras, Nicaragua. If they're not already see, receiving that rainfall right now, it's definitely coming within the next 24 hours. Sections of Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, not to mention sections of the Eastern Caribbean, including 
those ears that are receiving you right now so antigua sections of saint vincent and the grenadines barbados even looking southward we're actually starting to see more new effort rainfall across northern and south america so french guiana that we just saw sections of western guyana southern and western venezuela colombia even sections of panama might get in on the action as well i know that when both maps on the year and the gfs are in consensus like this the chance of actually happening are much higher all right so that's it for today thanks for watching